Hello everyone, I am Lily. We are back with The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, and uh, we're about to go save a girl hanging in a tree that was dropped by a big ass bird. And is there something in here? Let's see, shall we? Another thing I like about this game, there's an enemy there um, that is not present in all Zelda games is uh, like a crouch button. Ooh, okay. This here is a Bogoblin, one of the dumber enemies in the game, and he is even unarmed. Anyway, yeah, you have like a... When your sword is out, I mean, is in, you have like a crouch button, which I don't know why, but I like it. I like being able to just crawl around. Look at me fucking stealth my way. I'm like I'm like metal gearing or like or something, right? Did I did I reference that correctly? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know anything about metal gear. Anyway, let's just keep going. There's a big ass rock over here that we can't do anything about yet, and we don't need to do anything about it yet. And so anyway, even though Link keeps looking at it, another thing I like about this game. Sorry, I'm gonna keep mentioning like little specific things. Um. They kind of bring this back in Twilight Princess, but not to the degree I feel that they have it in Wind Waker. Um, Link likes to look at points of interest. If you notice, like, he'll kind of keep looking um, for quite a while, like, no matter which way you face. And uh, right now he's looking at the rock, because that is a point of interest, we just can't do anything about it yet. And um, sometimes, that was cool, sometimes I notice that if you are stuck in like a dungeon or something and you, maybe you don't see um a switch or something or the next way to go uh link will usually be looking at it so if you kind of like just stop moving for a little bit or even if you kind of keep moving if you just pay attention to link's face uh you will see um like sometimes he's actually looking at the answer there's been times where i'm like what the fuck do i do now and then i just stop and i look where he's looking and i'm like oh shit hello um yeah so that's kind of nice. And uh, we should be facing more enemies in here. Yeah. A couple of cargo rocks, those annoying ass birds. Uh, we'll drop a couple more Bokoblins, uh, which still have nothing. Hopefully. Okay. And did I kill one? I killed this one. Okay. Sorry. I attacked this one more. So it was kind of interesting that he died second. All right, last of the enemies for now. She's gonna wake up and struggle like a dumbass and fall. Ouch! Wow, what's with that get up? Well, whatever, so where am I? Oh, that's right, that giant bird came in. Oh. Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness, you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there. Let's go! Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on! Alright. Yes, let's go. And so another thing... Or wait, oh. I'll, I'll explain after. Hoi! Big brother! <laughs> I think bad things are gonna happen. Yep, here comes the big ass bird again. And of course, he's gonna pick up our sister. There he goes, brother! And Link's gonna be a dumbass. Did he think this would work? I mean, what an idiot. <laughs> uh, stupid.
stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. There's <laughs> like sad stoner face over there. Link makes some retarded facial expressions. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates. You know, pirates? The terror of the seas? What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter, whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also had long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. Hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help, now would it? <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, Lately, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Okay, now we go get our friggin' shield. And then, just real quick, it's not something I like, it's something that's kind of funny. So the pirate, Tetra, is a fairly important character. I will not spoil it, just in case you don't know uh, what happens in this game. But yes, she's a very important character. Now, the number three is very important to Zelda. You know, the Triforce, three goddesses, blah, 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 all that good shit. So you would think that a, um, a very important character like Tetra wouldn't have the name that mean wouldn't have a name that means four. Tetra means four in a game that, uh, in a game for which the number three is very important. There we go, now we can get the shield thing. Link. Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> he looks so distraught. Take it with you. You got the hero shield. This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also hold R while air uh, L targeting. And <laughs> I guess it is true. Arrow really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child?
All right, am I done talking to Grandma yet? Uh, let's see what she has to say. Oh, Errol. Okay, that's all you're gonna say. So yeah, I apologize about all the business with the shield stuff earlier, trying to get it. I forgot that it's only after the pirates come that you need the shield. So let's go talk to them. Get admitted to the pirate ship. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Sure am. All right. We do not need such pomp and circumstance for shipping off. Yeah, that's right. Anyway. My foot's numb, so I'm like feeling it right now and it feels really weird because it just feels like skin. Good luck, Link. Oh, fuck that kid. <laughs> Good luck finding Harold. Take care of yourself, this stupid snot-nosed kid that not only has that giant snot hanging from his nose, but he keeps like sucking it up and it never works. Oh, and there's my grandma. Oh shit, I should have stopped in to buy stuff before I left. Oh well. Uh, how much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Tetra's such a little bitch. Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I could tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? I don't know, Link looks pretty fucking determined to me. Alright, Link, listen kid, you can't just stand around on deck, you'll get in everyone's way. I've told Nico to look after you, so you'd better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. So we're gonna go have a little task, and that's not Nico, that's- are you Zuko? Hmm, that Nico didn't make out half bad, with you being the new swabby and all. New swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work, it's a raw, real raw deal, but hey. I'll tell you, it sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine, so long as you don't disobey him. I think his name is Zuko. The one with Tetra up at the wheel is Gonzo, I believe. I don't know who that one is. Maybe that's Zuko. Don't care. Um, we gotta go talk to Nico. And this guy is guarding Tetra's room. Stop right there. This is Mitch Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think it. That's okay. I don't want to talk to you. I want to go talk to this guy. Oh, well now. Ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, <coughs> I am your superior, Nico. Now, I promise I'll go easy on you, so you do as I say, okay? Right, now first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful-like, so you can cram it into your no-doubt mushy suave brain. Okay, so... We're gonna talk... First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt forward to step on it. Presto, switch pressed. Yes, yes, not bad and all that. Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. <laughs> okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself, but the next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this! <laughs> this swinging stuff is really fun. If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use the control stick to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform, then press A to let go and jump to it. So 
So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. It will probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year. One tough year full of bumps and bruises. One whole goddamn year. <laughs> of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. Alright, and I think I'm going to save this for the next part. Sorry. this game kind of starts slow. Zelda games do and their starts are getting slower and slower and slower. Uh, it's really kind of rough but um, yeah so I th think I will save this part for next time and until then thank you very much for watching. You are all amazing and awesome people and I will see you later.